So as this confident young fighter makes his walk to the octagon, you can be sure his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because once I get him down, I know I can keep him there, potentially for the duration of the round, if not the fight. This guy's top game is scary good, and it's not just about getting you down, it's about using his weight to keep you there. Great hips as well. Matt Hughes is one of the greatest welterweight champions in the history of the sport. He is also one of the first wrestlers to truly embrace the submission game, adding a broad range to his attacks that made him incredibly successful through the reign of his title defenses. Well, Joe Rogan, this is as accomplished a kickboxer as has made the walk to the UFC octagon as we've seen in the last several years. I'm excited to see his kickboxing skills on display in this particular matchup. Really a nice arsenal of kicks. He'll attack that lead leg beautifully, not to mention the solid punching technique that he brings to the table. This man is a danger for anyone in his striking range. When that octagon door closes, we're expecting fireworks tonight. This guy has some of the best defense I've ever seen inside the octagon, and they say that defense is the best offense. for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 41 wins, five losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Body out of Hillsborough, Illinois, presenting the member of the UFC Hall of Fame and the former UFC welterweight champion of the world, Matt Hughes. And now the his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, the Flag. <laughs> and when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavigne. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. So let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Hughes gets hit with a kick. He appears largely unfazed, but he doesn't want to take too many more of those, Joe. He caught that one right on the knee. That could have hurt. Oh, huge block! And a nice one-two with the right and the left. Hughes gets caught with that punch. Misses with the kick. Be ready. Oh! Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Try to establish that jab. Lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Hughes. Beautiful inside leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Straight punch, that worked, Joe. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. Hughes has got the double underhooks here in the clinch now. First takedown attempt is there. Tags him. And he's trying to pass. 
Two minutes remain in the round. Go, guys, work. He postures into place. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here, you'd like to see that, Joe. Trying to pass here. And he moves into half guard. Good control here. And busy as he looks to improve position here. And they both stand up. Oh, now he's got double underhooks here. He transitions to the tie clinch. Hughes gets the over under here in the clinch, Joe. Now let's see what he can do with it. And there comes the separation now. The horn sounds for the end of round one. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. We really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. Brittany Palmer here doing her thing as usual. All right, round two. The Superman jab. Such good movement in there. Big Shot power lands. in that hook. Body kick, look at that. Lifts the guard and connects with the punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's gonna have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Gotta get his head off the center line. And a high kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, nice trick to change the level. He's got the arm trapped of his opponent. Good defense. He lands a big shot from the bottom. He's looking to pass. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. He gets the elbow up into the target. There's another elbow. Mixing in the elbows. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Gets back to rubber guard. And he's back in the guard. Tries to pass from full guard to half guard, but can't. Hughes gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Big punch from the bottom. Attacking from rubber guard again. Good elbow to the body there. Big shot from the bottom. Showing some good defense here on the ground by controlling that arm. Excellent movement here on the ground. Postures up. One minute. He's got a half guard here. Now he gets the full mount again. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Hughes. Excellent sweep. He's gonna try to take the back. He's back into full guard now. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. 
It looks to me like he's trying to turn right. towards either side. And that's the end of round number two. Hey, stop! All right, take a seat, bud. Listen, we're down on the scorecards. I need you to fight smart. If you start losing the stand-up battle, I want you to look for the takedown, okay? Let's see some of the action here. Here's another look at it here. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Ariane Celeste doing her thing as usual. strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Yep. It appears a cut has opened up on his cheek. Ooh. That's a big left hand to connect him with. Oh, very nice. Knee to the body. Going to the body there with the right kick. Oh, nice. He landed a couple good shots here. Switching stances here. Oh. It looks like he's got that guillotine locked in tight. I believe he's in all kinds of trouble now. He's free. That guillotine was close. In half guard. Tags him with the left. Three minutes to go in round three. Hughes gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. How good is that right here? He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's in the half guard now. Under two minutes now with which to work. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Nice sweep, now he's in half guard. Got tagged there. Pip escape gets out of the full mount. And mount again. Full mount. In half guard now. 30 seconds now to go in the round. 20 seconds to go in the fight. He skates up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, flipped him with the jack. All right, so this one goes the distance here tonight as we await the judge's decision. Should be a pretty clear outcome here, I would think. He was able to knock his opponent down in this fight, and perhaps that was enough to get him a 10-8. And ultimately, the judge's scorecards here tonight. Big, big effort out of this fighter in this one. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision. All right, so there he is, your winner by way of decision, and the celebration is on in the corners. They certainly prioritize the finish coming in, but they will certainly 
take the win and the accompanying win money as well. Going to be very interesting to see how the matchmakers proceed with this fighter.